What's going on people? Troops TV back again and obviously that fucking dead ass fucking international break has fucked off and the Premier League is back again but that also means that Arsenal is back again so that means more stress for troops again but before we get to the preview I've linked up with my boys from Super Brew yet again you get me you don't know about this app already it's the predictor app and it's the free one you get me so no peas are getting spent so make sure you hit the link in my description so obviously let's go through my predictions real quick so the first game man city against liverpool i'm sorry but because it's had the etihad i'm going for a man city win i'm going for a 2-1 city arsenal bournemouth obviously i'll tell you like that at the end of the preview brighton against west brom i'm going for a 1-1 everton against tottenham i'm going for an everton 1-0 Leicester against Chelsea, I'm going for a 2-2. Southampton against Watford, I'm going for a 2-1 Southampton. Stoke against United, I'm going for a 2-1 United. Burnley against Palace, I'm going for a 1-0 Palace. And Swansea against Newcastle, I am going for a 2-1 Newcastle win. So you lot obviously make sure you download the app, you get me, I'm going to put the link in the description, I'm going to put my league in the description, and you lot can go at it against me, you get me, and obviously there's prizes to be won. And this is going to be a weekly thing as well, so make sure you get involved in it. You're done already. Let's get into the preview now, innit? Obviously, before the international break came upon us, I don't even want to really talk about that fucking game, you get me? But we, we have to, you get me? We went to Liverpool and threw it away, and we got fucked up, like, simple lads. We got battered from the first minute, we got fucked. Everything was wrong, you get me? From the lineup, the personnel, the tactic, the formation. Lacazette's on the bench, like, Kolasinac's on the bench. What the fuck is this shit like, you get me? You're going with the same team that lost 3-1 there last year, and then we got smoked 4-0. Firmino, Mane, Salah, even fucking Sturridge blood, you get me? Come on and done these little fucking stupid ass dance. It was embarrassing being an Arsenal fan, you get me? During this international break, man's been stressed, man's been pissed off, mood's been dead, you get me? And obviously the transfer window has closed as well, and guess what? We didn't buy fuck all. We sold Ox, as we already know, but we managed to keep Alexis and Ozil, but it's the same fucking shit, you get me? Then you got the comments that we've seen uh, this week. Ozil tried to come out, running up his mouth about Oh, the legends need to start supporting and stop talking. Well, let me tell you something, blood, yeah? These legends wouldn't be talking shit if you were doing your fucking job. You understand? Simple as, yeah? That's all I've got to say to you, blood, yeah? You ain't even signed a new fucking deal, but you're running your mouth. Are you fucking mad? Listen, until you sign the deal, yeah, and start putting some fucking performances in, shut the fuck up. Yeah, simple as blood. Then you got Keswick, my man's at the races, and he's saying he's, he's getting asked questions about Arsenal, and his reply is, um, I don't really want to talk about Arsenal. Um, horse racing is, is more of an interest to me at this moment in time. Is man actually fucking serious, blood? This is our CEO, you understand? And people wonder why we are pissed off and we want change, you understand? Because you got fuckers like this year who don't give a fuck, blood. The man's clearly said in his interview, I care more about horse racing than football. You can fuck off as well, blood, yeah? You are a prick as well, fam. All of you are pricks, blood. Gazi, that's come out as well. The transfer window was good. The transfer window was good, you know? We improved our strength in depth. We sold a centre back and then a buy one. But we improved our strength in depth, yeah? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we improved, yeah. We sold Ox but never got a replacement. Yeah, we improved, didn't we? Yeah, we really improved, didn't we? You fucking prick. You're a prick as well, blood. You need to fuck off as well, blood. You got no fucking clue, blood. These people don't actually listen to us, you know. They don't give a fuck what we think. They don't give a fuck what we say. They just do what the fuck they want. It's pure money. And then you got Cronky, the biggest fucking prick out of the lot. You got this fucker who's come out and said that, oh, I'm not gonna spend my own money. That's not me. But you are my football club. But you don't wanna spend peas. These men think I'm a dickhead, innit, like? These men actually think, man, are pricks, innit? You understand that? I don't get it, blood. But then my man is building up a new stadium in LA with how much money? Double the allocation of the Emirates. Am I a prick now, blood? You understand? Then this fucker's trying to compare us, the Arsenal, 13 league titles, 13 FA Cups, yeah, to Leicester fucking City. Leicester City, blood. No disrespect to Leicester City, yeah? But you, man, are known for Chris Rude Boy, Gary Lineker, and Cheese and Onion. 
yeah? That's you, man, yeah? You in the league was pure luck, pure juju, fucking voodoo, whatever the fuck you want to call it, blood. That was pure life, blue boy, yeah? It's like when Blackburn won it all them years ago, blood. Them thing there only happened once in a blue moon. That was the blue moon. This fucker is telling me, because Leicester won the league, we could do the same thing. Let me tell you something, yeah? This fucker has no clue how big Arsenal Football Club is. If he's comparing us to Leicester, who let's be real fam, that man can't even tie up our shoelaces, Rupert, let alone be put in the same sentence as Arsenal. This man has no fucking clue, blood. He needs to fuck off as well. I'm making a plea to the Wenger Rins, the Wenger Outs. If you like Arsenal Fan TV, if you don't like Arsenal Fan TV, if you don't like me, I don't give a fuck, blood, yeah? But this is the problem now, yeah? Cronky's the problem, blood. My man is bait saying he will not spend money on us, blood, yeah? If he don't spend money, we're fucked. Simple as blood. We're gonna go down, 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 down. You remember Leeds United? Do you want us to be the next Leeds United? I don't want that, blood. And if you're a fucking real Arsenal fan, you need to unite, blood. We need to take on this motherfucker, blood. We need to get him out of the fucking club ourselves, blood. Because this fucking leech, yeah? Because that's what he fucking is, blood. He's a fucking leech, blood. The little fucking rat. You little scumbag. I even fucking look at you, blood. You look like the fucking devil, fam. You're a fucking wrong one, blood. But this is the Bournemouth preview, you get me? I haven't spoke about Bournemouth, you get me? Let's talk a bit about Bournemouth, innit? Obviously, they were very unlucky in their last game. You get me? They went down 2-1 at home to Man City. Daniels uh, scored a banger, blood, you get me? That goal was a fucking rocket, blood, you get me? But Jesus equalised for um, City, and then Bournemouth did well. Like, they were hanging on, they were in the game. Obviously, City was dominating the game. They were putting pressure, pressure, pressure. I think that little dickhead as well, Mike Dean, added on a bit too much stoppage time, you get me? He added on a bit too much. And actually, when City got the goal, I believe that... Uh, I think it was Josh King. I think he was fouled in the build-up to that goal. You get me. So I don't think the goal should have stood. But you know what? You have to pay. You have to pay homage to City. You get me. Because they keep going and going and going. They never gave up. They're showing the right mentality this season to compete for the league. You get me. Not what the fuck we're doing. You get me. Let's be real. But you get me. Obviously, Bournemouth. They were unlucky. It's going to be a difficult game. Obviously, last season when we played them at the Emirates, we played them on my birthday. We won three-one. Alexis Blood Clark Sanchez got two goals. Wally Walcott got one as well. But then obviously we remember the infamous game when we uh, were three-nil down after 60 blood clock minutes and then we managed to luckily get a free free draw Olivier Giroud with the last minute equaliser but I think it's going to be one of them games with the free free it's going to be a mad fucking game our defence is shit their defence is shit our attack is good their, their attack is shit but our defence is shit innit? so I think they can get our defence I think it's going to be a mad game to get me like I said already I've got my seatbelt strapped on I'm ready for the ride this year so the ride is, is about to commence you get me but Let's get into my level for this game. Obviously, in goal, I'm going to have to put Petr Cech because I actually believe that he kept the scoreline down at Liverpool. You get me? He made a good few saves, but I have to be critical as Troops is. I think he could have done better with the Salah goal. He's, it was his near post and it, it, there was no power on the ball. It wasn't right in the corner. You get me? I think he could have saved that, but he did keep the scoreline down. So for me, Petr Cech starts in goal. The back three now because obviously my brother... Robbie Holden, he got ripped to shreds as well, you get me? But he's a young man, he never had no protection in front of him, you get me? And when I just threw him in there, you get me? He just he, he fed him to the Lions, you get me? Simple as he fed him to the Lions. But I'm going to take Holden out of this, you get me? Because I, I think he needs a rest. I think we should put him on the bench. Don't completely drop him because that will kill his confidence. So just put him on the bench. And the back three I'm going to go with is, on the right-hand side of that back three, I'm going to go with Scott Drum Mustafi. In the middle of that back three, I'm going to go with the actual captain for Arsenal, the BFG, Per Mertesacker. And then on the left-hand side of that back three, I'm going to go with Laurent Koscielny. The midfield four now, because obviously for me, Granit Xhaka had another fucking shit game. The fuck all again, gave away the ball again, gave away a goal again. He's given away a fucking, what, three goals in the last fucking three games. We played three fucking games. It needs to be dropped, simple as. So for me, the midfield four I'm going to go with is, on the right-hand side, Hector Bellerin. On the left hand side, I'm going to put the tank side Kolasinac and in the middle, I'm going to go with Aaron Ramsey and Mohamed Elneny. The front three now, obviously I'm going to switch it up because Welbeck had no effect on the game, love Welbeck, but he did fuck all, you get me? Wally Walcott, you ain't coming in this team. Awobi, you came in against Stoke and you never did fuck all as well, so you're not coming in this team. So the two I'm going to go with behind the main striker are the big man, the main man, Alexis Blood Clark Sanchez Rupoy. Next to him, I'm going to have Meza Ozil. And up top, the new man, the real man. And he's on the like a blood clot set, rude boy. So that's my 11 for this game. You lot already know. If you think the 11 should be different, put your 11 in the comments below. And like I said, man, I think it's going to be a mad game. It's going to be a fucking hectic game, blood. You get me? 
there's going to be goals in this game. But I think we will edge it. I think we will get the win. And I'm going to go for Arsenal 3, Bournemouth 2. If you ain't subscribed to Troops TV, make sure you subscribe. It's your boy Troops. And I'm out.